Hi, Sue Resig, and I just got home from work a little bit ago, and I have more energy than I did last night when I shot the video. So when I have a little more energy, this is what I do. And this is Saturday night, and I want to sit down and put my feet up and watch TV with my husband, and so I just want to have a little fun dinner, and this is what I'm having. So I'm going to show you how I'm making two different dips. And this one's a, a carrot dip. And it's actually based off a recipe that we've made for 30 years, and it was really good. Only that one used cream cheese. This one, I'm going to use a thick yogurt. If your yogurt isn't thick and you want it to be thick, you can actually line a colander with a little cheesecloth, dump your yogurt in there, set it over a bowl, and put it in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight, and that excess fluid will drain out, and it'll help thicken up your yogurt. I have a yogurt that's quite thick, and I like it. So to make the carrot dip, I'm starting out with some chopped parsley. That's looking to me to be about a teaspoon of chopped fresh parsley. And then I'm using a teaspoon. And now this is the secret ingredient. You have to do this. It's grated onion. And I grated it on a box grater. You can use a microplane if you have one. But the key is really important to grate it. Chopping it's not the same. So that's, that's your lesson for today. So I'm putting my onion in. This is a half a cup. You can see it's very finely grated carrot, just shreds, and you pack it in there. So it's a full half cup of carrot. Uh-oh, my bowl may not be big enough. We'll see. And then I'm adding my yogurt to it. Ha! Huh. I'm going to need a bigger bowl. All right, well, I'll get this in. We'll stop. We'll come back with a bigger bowl. All right, that's mixing up well. And then the one last thing I'm going to add to this is just a just a squirt of lemon, not too much. There, just a squirt, just give it a little flavor. It's not meant to taste lemony, it just enhances the flavor that's already there. And I don't wanna make it soupy. It already has enough moisture just from the carrot. But you'll be surprised how uh, nice these flavors come together and meld. We would actually serve this um, at parties over the years, and people were always quite surprised at what it was. They just knew it was pretty looking. They'd be eating it. They'd comment how good it tasted, and then they'd find out it was carrot, and everyone was always surprised. Um, I would recommend trying it, trying a little taste of it, and seeing if it needs a little more onion. It, it might, but I'm thinking it's going to be okay. Mmm, mmm. No, that's perfect. That's good. Okay, now that's our first dip. Now our second dip, I decided I wanted to make a spinach dip. I made spinach soup last night. I still have spinach. Obviously, I made too much the other day. I'm starting out with a half a teaspoon of grated garlic. I didn't want to go with a whole teaspoon just for fear it would be overpowering. And this is actually, you could, this is a quarter cup measure. You can see it's only half full. I started out with a whole handful of cooked spinach. I took this leftover cooked spinach and I started squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. I was amazed at how much it took to get rid of so much liquid. But I wanted to make it as dry as possible and now I haven't, I can't squeeze anything out. And I have, that would be two tablespoons or a half of a quarter cup, just a little bit. And I'm, actually I'm using my kitchen scissors. How do you like that? Just to cut it up a little bit. I thought that would be easier than anything else. There. I love my kitchen scissors. This, they just make life a lot easier. And I'm going to start with part of that. I'm not going to use the whole container. I'm going to see how much it makes. I haven't made this before. I'm making this up as I go. I just thought it sounded good, which is how every recipe I make goes. I just think, gee, that sounds good, and I start mixing. So, well, that looks pretty good. I like the, the texture. I like the amount of spinach that's in there. I didn't want it to be overpowering. And I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder to this. 
and you can see I'm not measuring I'm just giving it a good sprinkle of onion powder and I brought over dill and vinegar because I'm going to taste it and see if it needs anything I thought dill would probably go with this if it I felt as though it needed it and I think the vinegar you know like we put lemon in the other one maybe vinegar would taste good but I'm just gonna give it a good mix I'm going to give that one a taste, see what I think. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's very tasty. And I'm glad I only used a half a teaspoon of garlic. That was plenty. If you're ever looking for a little um, heat or peppery flavor, add raw garlic. That is going to help give you that sensation, that little bit of heat if you want it. That tastes very good. You know what I might add to this is a little garlic powder. It's gonna, it's not gonna add the heat of the garlic, but it'll add a little more flavor. So I am gonna add a little more onion powder there. And I'm gonna grab my garlic powder in just a moment. Okay, I've got garlic powder. see how that tastes. I should do a little more of this other times. That's good. That's good. I like it. I'm going to add the rest of that yogurt to it now. Just make it a little creamier like the other one. Cause this is this one's kind of thick. It's more like a spread. I like to, like it to be a little more like a dip. There. That looks very good. We're ready to roll. And as usual, you know I like to have my little goodie tray all ready to go. So what have we got tonight? I have broccoli. I have uh, asparagus, which is not quite raw, not quite cooked. I, I blanched it for one minute. But I do have raw broccoli, and I have my potato. So I'm getting lots of raw from my broccoli and my carrot, and I'm getting cooked vegetables from the asparagus and the spinach. I'm getting my potato because you see I'm going to take this and I'm going to put a little dab of that on there and then just take a little bite of that. And I told my husband this is this is the crazy sexy part of Gerson is getting to you know spread a little bit on there and have a little snack. Mm -mm -mm. Oh <laughs> so that's our yummy Saturday night snack tonight. This is my dinner. And to go with my dinner, I've got my thermos of already hot Hippocrates soup. So there wasn't too bad. That's something, something nice for a Saturday night. I hope that helps you. I'll have the recipe up front. Have a good night.